Yes, here comes summer. Or is it rain? Or is it snow? As we're in the UK, we get four seasons in one day. Hi, I'm Gabby and welcome back to another edition of The Fragrantition. If you like my content, subscribe. And if you don't like it, well then, that's fine too. So, in today's video, we're talking about summer scorchers. Hence, this is in my hair. And hence, I'm doing a day of videos. I am back. I And if you watch my previous video, which I'll put in the box down below, I've been away a while. Hence, this is why it's the same look. But you're here for the scents. And I know, thank you for just sticking with me. And Claude is now. Oh my gosh. Oh God. Oh God. That's it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's it. Claude says hi too. Soft as a brush, aren't you? Yes, you are. So it's, um, I've got five fragrances, five, let's talk again. I've got five fragrances here that are summer scorches that, well, actually, two of them you could wear all year round. Yeah, you could. Yeah. Listen, trust me, trust me. So the first one we're going to talk about is... You're going to have a what moment, and some of you are going to have a yes, yes, queen moment. Dior addict. Yes. People will say, what? I can only wear this in autumn and winter. Hell no. This I will wear. I've, I'm wearing this now in the, in, in the summer. I have had a bit of a, an epiphany moment, a bit of an awakening. And this... This has got me through a tough time. Somehow, this kind of like, I don't know what it was. I know I'm not going to go all like, you know, the second coming on you and start to walk on water and all of that. But yes, Dior Addict, it is, but where did I put it? Oh, it's over. There is a dupe for this. And I've put it over the other side now and I can't get up because I'll mess up my owner claude here yeah but dior addict or flawless flawless by perfume parlor <gasps> yeah that you know it's vanilla it's orange blossom it's yeah blackberry it's and the vanilla in that is it outperforms this but if you want still a strong scent and one you can still get hold of then Dior Addict, they haven't butchered too much because I have smelt the original and Flawless smells like the original. Yeah. Whereas this one has been watered down, so to say. But anyway, yeah, this is, yeah, don't overspray it by, you know, don't do like 12 sprays. Do about four or five. And yeah, summer in a bottle as well as winter, autumn and spring. This, I don't know why, on my skin, it just performs really good in the heat, as well as in the autumn. And I never thought I'd say that. But you see, my mind is clearer. You know, when you get a, a sense of clarity and you're not narrow, then just try it. Now, this next one I got a few months ago. Um, no, actually, more than a few months ago, actually. And I put a little bit of a dent in it, but I didn't think it was at the right time to wear it then. But it is now. Twilly Hermes, oh, ginger. Some will recoil, I know. They're like, oh, no, I don't like the scent. I do. I love this candied ginger, but it's really good this time of the year. This kind of candied ginger that gives it some sweetness. It's delectable. It's, oh, on the, do you know what? In my previous video, I've, I can still smell vintage Dior. Dior Essence on that hand, or that could be worn in the summer as well, but I haven't got this in this video. Let's talk about Twilly Hermes Ginger. This, I mean, the bowler hat is cute, the bow is cute. It's fairly simplistic. It's got this kind of like slightly floral feel, but this candied tart ginger 
it's sharp comes through and some people don't like that but i think it's really good and i have put a little bit of a dent into it this you do need to overspray to get good projection and good sillage unlike dior addict which needs less sprays however however i'm close to your addict yeah that's like nuclear but yeah twilly hermes eau ginger this could be an everyday scent whereas maybe in the evening you want to go for dior addict if you're too frightened in the daytime to wear it if it's not too hot, whereas me, I go against the grain, as you know. But Twilly Hermes O oh, Ginger, it's so soft, it's but it's feminine, it's but it could easily be masculine as well. It's got all of those traits to it that I could certainly see a man wearing any of these scents, any of them. Twilly Hermes O oh, Ginger. Just think a chiffon dress or a palazzo suit or you even dress for the office as well and it's a hot day this will get them talking moving on to a niche kind of brand although i hate that word i hate pigeonholing but let's talk about amouage if you can afford it or and if you can't afford it then wait when the re you know don't buy it re i never buy retail price i always look for it in the sale amouage fragrances amouage figment this is a mermaid on steroids. Now this, I think since I've, I don't know what, what's happened, but my nose kind of like changed a bit. I loved it and then I wasn't sure about it. Now I really like it again. Um, this, this has an aquatic feel, but it's, it could easily fall in the territory of verging on a little bit animalic this is not i repeat not a safe blind buy don't spend your coins on this which is hundreds and then think oh my god what the hell did i buy this is a considered purchase my opinion anyway i mean if you want to buy it you buy it go ahead but it feels like there's some something cooking and it smells a bit wafting from a restaurant a little bit. That's really weird. But the more you smell it, the more it kind of feels from it. Like some kind of coin, some kind of maybe fish dish. I know that sounds awful, doesn't it? So, yeah, I'm not really painting a really good picture of this. But this is really good in the summer. For us fragrance connoisseurs that, you know, and I'm not, you know, putting my ego up there. Us fragrance connoisseurs. You know, us people, us people. Fragrance aficionados. I don't know what the word is. You know, I'm not good at much. I can burn toast and not boil eggs. But when it comes to doing my nails, doing other people's nails and talking about scents, I'm good at it. So there we go. So, yeah, I'm a good therapist and I'm congratulating myself every day like I'm doing at the moment. So Amouage Figment, it's like a sexy siren, but beware the sexy siren. It's a vibe. It is a whole vibe. I'm not going to go into the notes because, you know, what? some notes I do talk about and some others I don't. And this is this is a vibe. Well, the scents are a vibe anyway, but this is a vibe of you're that different guy or girl. And they're wearing amouage. Figment. Is it a figment of my imagination? No, I'm reality, darling. The next one, the penultimate one, is we're going to talk about a Francesca Bianchi fragrance and it's Sex and the Sea Neroli. Now, this is the Neroli version. I still have to, at one point, I will, because I've sampled it a couple of times. Love it. I want to get the original Sex and the Sea. This, if you like Neroli, good for you. If you don't like Neroli, well, that's a shame because the Neroli is quite prominent in this. It's that kind of like... From the tree, it's 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 the sharpness. It's I mean, neroli is almost twig-like, I suppose. It's the shrubs. It's it, from the orange blossom tree. It, yeah. Again, it's slightly animalic as well. But whenever I wear this, Richard always says to me, "This reminds me of Corfu holidays." Although I've never worn this on a Corfu holiday, 
because we haven't been to Corfu since before the pandemic. That is our island of destination for Greece. Oh, I could talk about just a video about Corfu. Maybe I should do that. Sent Corfu. Sent the people of Greece. If you think that's a good idea, just let me know. I think of it on a little tangent there. But anyway, Sex and the Sea Neroli, it's, you know, it is having sex by the sea. Or in my instance, having sex on a rock that's so hard, you don't know what you're feeling. But anyway, back to the scent. Sex and the Sea Neroli, it's, yeah, it conjures up all of these images of sex, but fun. Claude's just got down. Playfulness. It's kind of like you're walking through the vegetation on Corfu Island because it is a green island because they do have rain from time to time and it's just the flowers are there in abundance. Um, I mean, I mostly smell night-blooming jasmine on Corfu, but that's what Richard says, so I'm going to take this to Corfu with me the next time we go. I mean, we're going to go this year, but we're not because my husband is, is reaching the big five -oh. And we're going to France instead. We're going back to our other home that we love. France or Corfu, but France won back to our little cottage where we spent my birthday. That's what we wanted to do. So that's what we're doing. So Sex and the Sea Neroli gets through that heat. I don't think I could wear this in, in autumn and winter, but I could wear Sex and the Sea, couldn't I, Claude? Yes. I could wear Sex and the Sea, the original one, all year round. But this one, Definitely a summer scorcher. And finally, this one is an all year round and this one is a workhorse fragrance. This one will get me through the day, throughout the year. But it's good in summer, it's good in spring, it's good in autumn, it's good in winter. This time of the year, it's really perfect. Dior Pure Poison. A lot of people would say, yeah, this is an all year round scent. It is, but it's equally as good in summer. Now, you know me, I don't really do fresh scents but in the winter this cuts through the cold coldness and in the summer this radiates through the cold through the through the heat you know it's it's a jasmine scent but it's also got sandalwood which gives it a lovely feeling and it's got mandarin orange was it mandarin you've got the citrus notes and you've got the jasmine, you've got the orange blossom. In this one, I actually, this is vintage. I do, it's hard. I I do smell maybe a bit more orange blossom. But the jasmine st is still there, but it's not dominant like I think it is in the later version. Um, but yeah. Pure poison. It's a work scent. It's an evening scent. For the summer, it's, you know, it's, is it a clubbing scent? Don't know. I would wear this to a club. I've worn this to a pub. I say pub. That's, a, that's another story. I've worn this to going out. So, yeah, pure poison Dior. It, in the heat, it just works so well. It's not overpowering, but it, it's kind of a contradiction because this does give quite a big cloud of a scent and it has a good staying power layered over fairy tale by Bath and Body Works. Body lotion or the spray, this lasts the whole day, although I do over spray, but that's me, you know, 12 sprays of this. Yeah, that's why there's quite a big dent in this 100 mil although I do have two other 30 mil bottles so yeah that's how much I love this in my top 10 forever a summer scorcher you know I don't think you could really wear any of these though at the beach maybe twilly maybe sex in the sea neroli just a smidgen even maybe a smidgen of this if you wanted to but we're not talking about beach scents. We're just talking about going through everyday life, through through the heat. I'm not talking about vacation scents, holiday scents. That's another kind of video in itself. But Dior Pure Poison, 
you know, it is, it's captured my heart. And I think if you can smell it, try it. If you don't like it, boo-hoo. If you do love it, give us a like. Deal, pure poison. So those are my five cents for summer, summer scorches. <sighs> yeah, although today is an average sort of summery day. Let's hope July, like they say, is going to be a heat wave. Because we're like, you know, it's the 6th of July at the moment. It, no, 6th of July, 7th of July. You know, we need we need some sun. Because I do love the sun. A bit, bit of vitamin D. What are your thoughts? Till the next video. I will see you in the next video. And it's going to be a good one in the next video. So until then, Claude and I say bye. He's always quiet now. What about you, Electra? Electra? She's quiet too. But until the next video, I will see you then. Bye.